Welcome to the homework. This is lesson eight, grade three, module two. Write your name first. <coughs> and we have the weights of three fruit baskets shown below, all in kilograms. So here are our questions. A, which basket is the heaviest? Not looking for a number, we're looking for a letter. Basket A, basket B, or basket C. 12, 8, 16. 16 is the heaviest, so basket C. Which one is the lightest? That's basket B, that's only 8. So B. Basket A is heavier than basket B. This A is 12, and B is 8. So, but how much heavier exactly is it? Well, the difference between A and B is the same is the difference between 12 and 8, which is it's 4 kilograms heavier. 9, 10, 11, 12. What's the total weight of all three baskets? 12 plus 8 plus 16. And I hope you see this. The 2 here and the 8, these 1's digits make a 10. So here's a 10 here, right? So here's a 10. There's another 10, so that's 20. And then we add 20 to 16, 36. The total weight... is 36 kilograms k g very important to write the units number two each journal weighs about 280 grams so journals like a diary a notebook sort of what is the total weight of three journals? So let's draw a little tape diagram for this, right? Because we're going to RDW it. We read it. We're going to draw it. And now we're going to then we're going to write an equation and uh, write an answer statement. So we have three journals. Here's one. Here's another. Here's another. And each journal is 280 grams. The total weight of three journals is 280. You can try multiplying two, uh, three times 280, but uh, I, uh, I hope you're not counting 283s to figure it out because that's just going to be take ridiculously long. We can use a number bond strategy to add these big numbers up. 280 is 280, right? So you can see, maybe you can already see what's going to happen. We've got 200, 400, 600, right? And let's just get this a little bit easier to add. Now we have the 380s, right? Well, think of these as 10s, right? We've got 8 10s, 8 10s, and 8 10s. That's 24 10s. If you count them up or multiply 3 times 8, uh, 24. But those 10s are 240. And now you can just use your digits to add this up. 600. You have the 600 and the 200. That's 800. And this is just zeros, right? So you're going to have 840. You could have also done it like that. You could have also done the whole thing vertically. 280, 
280, 280. You've done it all vertically. So you have zeros for your ones digit. And then 3 eighths, 24, 4. And you'd have another 2 up here. 2, 4, 6, 8. 840, that's how it would work. We need to answer statement now. All right, we have our picture, done. We wrote our number sentence, done. And now we can write our answer statement. Three, three journals, total 840G. Ms. Rios buys 453 grams of strawberries. She has 23 grams left after making smoothies. How many grams of strawberries did she use? So here we have, you could use a number bond for this, but you could also draw a tape diagram. I like tape diagrams. They're almost the same thing, really. So this is all of the strawberries, right? This whole thing is the 453 grams of strawberries that she started with, right? And so S, that's what she started with. Then she used it, most of it, but we don't know how much exactly. Mm -hmm. And we know that she has 23 left. Grams left. <clears throat> and these are the smoothies. Smoothies, and these are the ones that are L for left. So you can see what we have to do. We have to find the difference between 453 and that 23. And we, we'll subtract for that. So there's our picture, right? We read it. We drew the picture. And we're, you could do, you could done this with a number bond, too, as long as you labeled it. Now we're going to write an equation in, in our uh, answer. So we're going to have to write 453 minus 23 equals. And you could do the, this would be pretty easy subtraction to do vertically. So, because you can see that you're going to end up subtracting the ones out. And you're not going to have to unbundle any tens. So 3 minus 3 is nothing. 5 minus 2 is 3, and then we're going to have 430. She used 430 grams of strawberries. So you got to have all that. Got to have some kind of a picture. Got to have a uh, number sentence, and you got to have your answer statement. And you could just, you really should show what you did to make that subtraction, to figure out the subtraction. Uh, lesson eight. Andrea's uh, dad is 57 kilograms heavier than Andrea. Andrea weighs 34. How much does Andrea's dad weigh? So Andrea's dad weighs the same as, I'm going to draw a picture here, Andrea and more. This is the more, right? Because he weighs, if he's heavier, then he weighs more, and this is the more. So Andrea weighs 34 kg, and we know the more is 57, because that's how much heavier it says, 57, not 59, 57 kg. So we can see here that what we have to find out is, how much is it the two of them together? 34 plus 57, 34. 57, you can do this vertically. You might be able to do it mentally even easier. 7 and 4 is 11. Got a bundle of 10. 
And then we have 5 and 3, that's 8. One more is 9. 91. Andrea's dad weighs 91 kg. Think about that problem with the cell phone, right? It was 113 kilogram cell phone. It would be heavier than Andrea's dad <clears throat> if it was kilograms. I think that was a lesson seven homework question. So, how much do Andrea and her dad weigh in total? So, Andrea is 34. And her dad, we just figured that one out. He's 91. And now we have to figure out how much that those two together are. 91 and 34. 4 and 1 is 5. 9 and 3. And we have 125. Um, let me just write it. Write our statement now. Andrea and her nameless dad weigh 125 kg together. Jennifer's grandmother buys carrots from the farm stand. Here are some carrots. She and her grandchildren equally share the carrots. The total weight of the carrots she buys is shown below. So here's how much all the carrots weigh, 28 kilograms. How many grams of carrots will Jennifer get? So we've got she and her three grandchildren. You can't just look at the numbers here. You have to read all the words. So she and her three grandchildren. That means there's four people sharing all the carrots. So, 28 is a pretty manageable number. <clears throat> we could do this just by dealing the cards. You might look at this and think 4 times something equals 28 and figure it out that way. Think of it as a missing factor. We're really we're dividing by 4. So, 28, we could just do this. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. That's there's all twenty-eight kilograms. That's a lot of carrots. That's a lot of carrots. Uh, so uh, Jennifer gets the same as everybody else. Maybe that's hers. Uh, she gets, and what are we counting? We're counting kilograms of carrots, right? So she gets eight. No, seven. That's seven. Hold on a second. Erase that. 7 kilograms of carrots. Jennifer uses 2 kilograms of carrots to bake muffins. That's a... Oh, that's a lot. I hope that made a lot of muffins. How many kilograms of carrots does she have left? So she had 7, right? She had seven kilograms. And if we're going to draw a tape diagram of this, you might already know the answer in your head. But we've got to draw something here. 
So these are the ones that she, this, this is her, all the carrot she has is 7 kg. And she's going to, for muffins, she's going to use 2 kg. And we're going to figure out what's the rest of it. kg. So the difference between 7 and 2. Five. She has five kilograms of carrots left. And that's about ten pounds of carrots. That's a lot of carrots.